Hello, my YouTube friends. Now, I know it's only been a day since my last video, but I thought I'd do another one. Because I got something new off of eBay today. I want to show it to you. It's a pipe rack. It's, uh, it's called a seven-day pipe rack. It's got seven pipes on it. One of the little ones I got from Pipe and Paco. I got that one in on a Sunday. We'll go backwards, I guess. Got another one. This one's in on Saturday. Not necessarily that I smoke these on Saturday or Sunday. I just smoke them. Here's my Friday corn cob, which I'm smoking a corn cob today. Like I said, I just put the pipes in there at the moment. My Thursday corn cob. This is my this way, my Wednesday corn cob because I got a lot of corn cobs. This, <coughs> excuse me. This one I smoke. I don't know if you can see that. A topsoil blend. It's a Missouri Meerschaum. Uh, I don't know what's in it. Don't know where it came from. Don't know who makes it. I don't know anything about it. It's it's. Uh, I get it down to my local tobacconist and it's 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 good. It's so smooth and I like it a lot. Here's my Great Dane egg. I smoked that one for the first time last night. I like it. I like the shape. I like how it fills in your hand. And here's my bent. That's my Monday pipe. My bent. This is the one I had the problem with that little piece of metal inside of it that makes it gurgle. I don't know what that gurgling does, don't know what it but it I don't know what it does. I don't know. I, I, I haven't got a response to my last video on it. Tamp that down a little bit. So, I don't know what that little piece of metal does. I don't know what, what its purpose is. I took it out and it stopped gurgling. So, right. here it is. Well, it's hard to see with this kind of light, but. It's just, a, it's made out of Bakelite. I mean, it's, it was cheap. I got it cheap on eBay. I like it. I mean, I don't have many pipes. I got a lot more coming. I went coming eBay crazy. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. But I went eBay crazy and got me a, got me a bunch of pipes for, for a really good price. I might have to refurbish some of them, so I'll be watching some YouTube videos on that. All right now, I'm smoking a strawberry blend in my corn cob. This is just a corn cob I got at my local tobacconist for four dollars. I like corn cobs a lot. Uh, I I noticed that these my little ones here, little briars that I got. I mean, compared in size, they're about the same size. Looks like the bowl. Whoops. Looks like the bowl on this one might be a little bit bigger. Uh, I think they taste better out of a corn cob. That just might be me. Uh, I, well, what I hear on the internet and everybody is that it's not just me. It's it's an everything. It's a uh, everybody likes uh, likes corn cob a little bit, you know. So I'm I'm smoking the corn cob tonight with strawberry blend. I don't know who makes it. See, so in my tobacconist down there where I go here in Wichita, they only have jars of tobacco. You know, they got 25, 30 jars lined up, and uh, I think some of them are for Lane. Uh, the One Q is. I don't like One Q. Uh, it's just a matter of personal taste. If you like it, smoke it. That's the way I look at it. But uh, so I, I like the strawberry. Is pretty good. It's a nice aromatic. I like it. I like the uh, topsoil. I like the eggnog that I got from PipesandTobacco.com. They uh, sent me another one called Mamasti. I'm saying it wrong. I know I am. But uh, I, I don't, it's all right. It's hard to keep lit. I don't know if that's uh, my fault or the packing's fault or my packing fault or whose fault it is. I'm sure it's mine. I mean, being this new to, being this new to, to smoking uh, pipes, is, it's probably my fault. And um, I think I'm going to go down and try to find a good English pin to give a shot, uh, just, to, just to give it a shot. Most of the ones I've tried are aromatics.
I like the 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 uh, videos made by Aristocop, Scott at Aristocop, because he, he makes videos about the about the, the corn cob pipes. Uh, so I watched all of his videos and I had to deal with pipes, and I liked them. And they gave me some good ideas, some good information, some good ways to look at it, and the ways to, to keep up uh, with my corn cob. The one where he cuts the cob in half, that's that's a cool video. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's Arista Cob. And, uh, by, and uh, he cuts one in half and he smokes for a long time. So, this, this strawberry is a real good, it doesn't have a whole lot of mouth flavor to it, but it does have, a, it smells good in here. Today, uh, if anyone watches this and knows me, I, I hate the heat. I can't stand it. Anything above 85 degrees is just too damn hot for me. So, it's, it's about 97, 98 today, which is, is astronomically the, the face of the sun for me. I mean, I'm standing on Pluto, or not Pluto, but uh, Mercury or something. Anyway, uh, so I'm, I'm smoking a, a, a good smelling strawberry blend inside. And uh, I, I'm liking it. I put together my, my pipe stand I got in the, in the from eBay today. Hopefully I get my pipes, I don't know, tomorrow, next day. Or not, I guess it won't be on Sunday, but tomorrow or Monday, Tuesday. Uh, and I also got a K. Woody coming. I never smoked a, a K. Woody, so I don't know what to expect with the with that sticker stem kind of thing they got going on. So we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on there. New postcard today from Germany. It's written in German. I don't know what it says. But it's part of a, a hobby I have with post with postcards. I, I send them and receive them from all over the world. Uh, maybe I can find somebody who speaks German here in town. And I was talking too much. Went out. Maybe they can find out find out what it says. Maybe hopefully something good and not bad. But anyway, uh, still reading a pint of murder and. Uh, when I get when I get to the end of that a little bit further, I'll let you know. If I get some more stuff in off eBay, I'll let you know. Uh, today's music has been uh, Mrs. Jackson by Outkast and Hate It or Love It by The Game. My friend Zach, which has a couple of videos on YouTube, said I should uh, change the music up a little bit, go away from my traditional jazzy sound and into whatever this is, uh, a little hip hop, a little R and B, not my. Not my necessarily my style, but anyway, that's it. We're getting ready to start Fast Car by Y Clef Young. So anyway, hope you hope you like this video. Let me know uh, if you're still trying to figure out what that little metal thing is inside those pipes. I don't know what it is, but if anyone can let me know, that'd be great. Thanks.